Hi guys, welcome to our MPLab XCA tutorials for absolute beginner series. This is tutorial 32, pulse width modulation with peak microcontroller. Most of peak microcontroller they've got a CCP module. A CCP stands for capture, compare and pulse width modulation. This peak microcontroller has got two CCP modules, CCP1 and CCP2. The CCP2 in this peak microcontroller is the standard capture, compare and pulse width modulation, while the CCP1 is enhanced capture, compare and pulse width modulation. When this CCP peripheral is configured in capture mode, the peripheral allows timing of duration of an event, and when it's configured in compare mode, the peripheral constantly monitors a timer counter value and compare it to a value set in the application and when they match it will trigger an event and when this CCP module is configured in path width modulation the peripheral will produce a variable path width signal based on a path width and period value set in the application code. Path width modulation is a technique of controlling the amount of power delivered to an electronic load by switching on and off a digital signal. This is the simplest technique that can be used to produce analog voltages from a digital one. The fraction of the period for which the signal is switched on to the total period is known as the duty cycle. So the average DC value of the signal can be varied by varying this duty cycle. This duty cycle can be anywhere between 0 when the signal is always off to 1 when the signal is always on. Let's say our signal is 5 volt while it's on and 0 volt while it's off. Then by changing the duty cycle of the signal, the amount of the energy transferred to the load can be changed from this 0 volt to 5 volt. This method is commonly used for controlling speed of DC motors, brightness of lamps, sine wave inventors, digital to analog converters, and so on. As you can see from this figure, when the on time is small compared to the off time, the bulb hardly gets any time to switch on. As the on time increases and the off time decreases, the bulb gets brighter. This is a simplified block diagram of a path width modulation. These are the registers that you can use can see it uses timer 2 for timing. You can access these registers directly as everything is described in the data sheet. But in this tutorial, we're gonna use MPLab code configurator to configure our path width modulation module and timer 2. You're gonna see how easy is it to use MPLab code configurator. You can generate everything without even writing a single code. So let's go to our MPLab project. We have created a simple project named Path Width Modulation. Open MPLab Code Configurator. The first thing we're gonna configure our system module. We're gonna use the internal 8 MHz oscillator. We're gonna disable the MCLR pin. And under the device resources, you can see we've got CCP. And if you're going to use the enhanced CCP module, then you can select ECCP1. In this tutorial, we're going to use the standard CCP. So double click on CCP2. The other thing we're going to need, we're going to need timer 2. So under the timer, select timer 2. Let's start with configuring the timer 2. Timer 2 uses the oscillator that we've selected in the system module to adjust the timer 2 period. In this example, we're going to set the period to 1 millisecond, which is going to give us a frequency of 1 kHz. To do that, we're going to set the prescaler to 1 by 16. And the period, we're going to set it to 1 millisecond. You can see it gives us an actual period of 1 millisecond. Let us configure the CCP module. We're going to select pulse width modulation. And you can see the path width period is 1 millisecond and path width frequency is 1 kHz. So here you can set your duty cycle. Initially we're going to start with a 10% duty cycle. And that's all guys. As you can see whenever you select the CCP module, MPLab Code Configurator Pin Manager is going to select 
the corresponding pin which is RC1 in this peak microcontroller. If you click on pin module, you're gonna see that pin was selected as an output pin. So let us generate our code, generate. Code was generated successfully. Let's go to our project. You can see under the header files, MPLab code configurator generated these files, the mcc.h, the timer2.h and the pulse modulation.h. The source files as well. We've got the MCC, the pin manager, the pulse width, and the timer too. If you open the pulse width modulation 2.h, these are the functions that you can use. We've got only two functions, the pulse width to initialize. It says this routine initializes the CCP2 module. This routine must be called before any other CCP routine is called. And it says again, this routine should only be called once during initialization. And the other function that you can use is path with modulation to load duty cycle. And here you have to specify the value of your duty cycle. So this is really easy. All you need to do is specify your duty cycle, call the initialize, and then you load the value of your duty cycle. In this demonstration, we are going to connect an LED to CCP2. The module will be configured to create a path with modulation signal at 1 kHz. And then we're going to load different duty cycles, a duty cycle of 100% to switch on brighter the LED, duty cycle of 80%, 50%, 30%, and 10%. And you can see how you can dim an LED. The other thing we're going to need, we're going to need to connect an oscilloscope so that we can see the path with modulation signal. Under the virtual instrument, I'm going to select the oscilloscope. This is a virtual oscilloscope. It's got four channels. You can use any channel. We're going to use the first channel, channel A. Let's go to our project. Okay, this is our main.c file. We created a delay function. The system initialized, generated by MCC. So in our while one loop, the first thing we're going to load the duty cycle of 100%. Duty cycle of 100% is 499. If you go to MPLab code configurator, if you load 100%, you're going to see it's going to give me a value of 499. Then after three second delay, we're going to load 80%. 80% is 399. We're going to load 50% is 249. We're going to load 30% is 149 and lastly we're gonna load a duty cycle of 10% which is 49 and let us compile our project build successful let's run you can see our signal on the oscilloscope let's just increase the display per division can see the duty circle is 100%, the LED is fully on. Then after 3 seconds it's going to be 80%, the duty circle is 80%. Then after 3 seconds it's going to be 50%, it's 50 on and 50 off. And after 3 seconds it's going to be 30%. And after 3 seconds then it's going to be 10%. So this is basically how you can change the amount of energy transferred to a device using path width modulation. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.